Here's another good question. Would you consider talking about sex with a person of the opposite gender in a fair? It was impersonal, talking about likes and dislikes and what you do with your partner in the bedroom. First of all, mm. I would say it's very appropriate. You know, we talk about, we have a video a training where we talk about the 19 signs of a close call friendship. And one of those signs is having sexual conversations. I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a full-blown affair. You know, I don't know how long these conversations <coughs> have, have been taking place, if it was a one-time random, if it's uh, a major form of how you two communicate, where now all you're doing is talking about sexual things. I don't know if you're imagining having sex with one another and talking about what you would do if you could do, but you can't do, so therefore you won't do. Mm -hmm. I don't know the nature of it. But I would say, you know, once you start talking about sex, you've passed a threshold. Now things have shifted. And now the main form of your communication and interaction could be sexual, sensual, things of that nature. And even though you're talking about what you like with and what you do with your spouse, in essence, you're telling this other person, you're, it's, it's almost like, listen, I'm telling you what I like. And what happens when, when you start talking like that, what you do is you create you create a passion, an interest, a desire, an anticipation, and imagination of the other person to be with you because you're telling them what you like. It's just completely inappropriate. So I wouldn't mm. necessarily say it's an affair, but it's certainly a close call relationship. But I would need to know more about it to give you a quick yes or no, this was or this wasn't. Mm -hmm. But certainly it's a tie that's inappropriate that should only be designed for those in the context of marriage. Yeah.